Hi guys, it's Felicity and today I'm going to be doing a story time on how I found out I was pregnant and how my parents reacted and some like pros and cons about being a teen mom. So yeah, let's get into it. Yo, you should have seen the way that you bloom. I think I saw your face in the moon. So when I found out, I was at his father's house and he bought two pregnancy tests and they were like the little clear blue ones and I took them and they were positive but it had like that one bold line that was like really dark and then a faint line um so I couldn't really tell and I was like okay so it's probably negative um and I was just thinking nothing of it and then I took the other one same thing and so I didn't really care and then I was just like okay I'm still not getting my period like weeks later <laughs> and so um he bought me two other ones and we came actually to my house and it was kind of in like April I think and I took them and both of them came back like really really like dark <laughs> like the plus and so i was kind of freaking out i started crying and he hugged me and was like it's gonna be okay i'm gonna be here for you and everything and so that was really nice and that same day my parents found out so i kind of just told them i was like okay so i took the test and they said positive and my dad just kind of like shook his head, not very happy, but he didn't yell or say anything. He just kind of shook his head and said, okay. And he was obviously disappointed because I am 15 and I just recently turned 15 too. So it was kind of like, yikes. <laughs> and so then that same day I told my mom and my mom was like, okay, I kind of figured because I kept giving her hints that I wasn't starting my period and that I had all these symptoms and she obviously has three kids. I have a younger brother and an older sister. So she kind of knows everything that goes into being pregnant. And so um, that's how I kind of told my parents and they weren't like happy, but we kind of just like laughed about it and didn't make it a huge deal. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to walk? <laughs> so then I just kind of did my own thing. We kind of didn't talk about it after that and like I don't know it just wasn't that big of a deal like it was a big deal but like nobody really made it a big deal I told my sister actually first because my mom was at the store and my dad was taking a nap and so I told my sister which was tanning outside and she um was like oh my gosh how are you gonna tell mom and I was like I don't know but I ended up just doing it and since the father was here he kind of helped explain it so they were gonna yell at me in front of him and we were only dating for I think four months at that time so it wasn't a really long relationship so it was like we were still kind of getting to know each other and so were my parents trying to get to know him and it was just a new relationship so they weren't gonna yell at me in front of him and so they kind of played it cool and we were just looking at baby stuff and we still didn't know the gender. And then, you know, when we found out, we kind of did a little surprise and stuff. We had like little jelly beans and it said he was a boy. And what? <laughs> so yeah, and so it wasn't that, interesting you know it was just kind of like I told them and they were obviously disappointed like any parent would be finding out that their teenager is pregnant and she's not married she's not in a long-term relationship she's so young I mean so it wasn't that bad I mean they took it pretty well and I think I kind of put a lot of blame on myself because I was scared and I was insecure and kind of embarrassed and like I didn't want to tell anybody I kind of kept it a secret um and <laughs> and so I kind of just like 
didn't tell anybody. And then one day I just kind of said it on Snapchat and everybody was really supportive. I mean, of course there were some people that were like, oh, I'm so proud of you, but they really don't like me. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but so I finally got more comfortable. So my parents posted on Facebook and everybody was really supportive and they bought me a bunch of stuff like my parents bought me a bunch of stuff for the baby like i haven't bought a whole lot of stuff because they love him so much that they're like okay i'll get it for him and i don't have a job yet which i'm going to be getting soon but they don't really make me pay for a lot of stuff i mean i've bought a few things for him but not a ton <laughs> But I do try my best. I mean, I obviously, I'm not the perfect parent. I'm 15 years old, and I still have teenage tendencies. And so my mom helps me a lot with him. Like, she just had him, and I just brought him up here because he woke up. <laughs> but, like, she helps me a ton. And, like, she still lets me go out with friends if I want to. Or they she lets friends come over here. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. And... My sister loves him. My brother makes fun of me, but he's 13, so that's kind of normal. But everybody loves him. My grandparents love him. And it was just, I'm just really glad that everybody took it well. And, <laughs> and so, yeah, that's pretty much how I found out, how I told my parents. It's not a long story, but then some of the pros of being a young mom is that, like, you'll be closer with your kid because <laughs> because you're so young and they're going to kind of be in the same generation as you are so it's kind of cool to think about but there's more cons in our pros and I do love him and I wouldn't trade him for the world but I mean obviously you're 15 you aren't married you don't you're not financially stable unless you have a job but you're still not financially stable you wouldn't be able to take care of yourself and so it's a lot of hard work and especially like when you're still in school and stuff and like sleepless nights and like you, then you have to go to work then like after school and you barely have time with your baby and it's just it's kind of hard and so and another con is that, obviously, this day and age, people will make fun of you. You're going to get bullied, and I've had bullies in public places, like Target. It happened twice. I've been followed around Target. I've been kind of like, my name was yelled across Target by these boys that knew me. And, I mean, it's not, like, the most fun, but at the same time, you have to kind of think, okay, well, I am so young, and I could just easily give up on everything, but I'm not. Like, I'm keeping my baby, I'm taking care of my baby, and I love him or her. <laughs> and, you know, like, it's just, I mean, obviously, there's not going to be that many pros to being a young mom, but, I mean, you kind of just do what you have to do. And you take care of your baby as best as you can. And you love them as much as you can. <laughs> right, Sailor? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I think I